the sugar ribose possesses OH groups on its two prime carbon and three prime carbon. The sugar deoxyribose possesses an OH group on its three prime carbon only, which is why it's called deoxyribose, missing that oxygen on the two prime carbon. And dideoxyribose lacks oxygens on both the two prime and three prime carbons, possessing only hydrogens here. Because dideoxyribose lacks an OH group on its three prime carbon, it cannot form additional five prime to three prime bonds. So new nucleotides may not be joined to dideoxyribose. In a growing nucleotide chain, new nucleotides are added so that the five prime end of the incoming nucleotide is attached to that OH group on the three prime carbon of the pentose sugar. As long as there are normal ribonucleotides or deoxyribonucleotides, the chain can elongate. If, however, one of the nucleotides has the pentose sugar dideoxyribose, once that is inserted in the chain, the chain stops growing because no new nucleotides can now be joined. And so this sugar will stop chain elongation when the dideoxyribonucleotide is inserted.